Well, I, I love the way this starts because the entry is possession. This is the glossary of self liberation. Right. And the first thing it says is A, see suffering. It <laughs> immediately cross -re references it to suffering. B, suffering is related to different kinds of fear. Fear of illness, loneliness, death, etc. That's under possession? It's under possession. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fear involves operations of the memory, sensations, and the imagination. This whole structure is related fundamentally to possession. The whole structure, memory, sensations, and the imagination is related to possession. Possession of oneself, of objects, and of other people. He's extraordinary. One may suffer because one does not have something, because one is afraid of losing something one does have, or when one fails to get something one wants. The root of this suffering lies in possession. Also, in states of need and desire, whether active or passive, possession is present in an active way. C. The register of possession is related to tension. Tension is the indicator of possession. Therefore, the mind advances and becomes freer to the extent that it can lessen possession. Lessen tension. Lessen possession. <laughs> when possession disappears, there will be no longer no longer be a physical register of tension, and excessive muscular tension will no longer be necessary in the sense of possessing or holding on to objects. This is what you were saying right. about as you're getting older and letting go more mm -hmm. and um, it, it's the tension is the register of it yes. isn't it it is how tense and that's the, the ludic life is you imagine you see somebody being very relaxed who is Absolutely. ludic right very mm -hmm. relaxed very free joyful flowing you know um, and nothing can bother them, knock them right. off their stride. More in the moment, more there, in the moment, you know, because that's the other part, you know, that, well, we should, we all know because of the discipline that the times that you are there, you know, it's like you have that register of, you know, that you're completely, dis, you know, distance. And I like this idea of fear yes. there. If he sort of looks at it from different points of view. I think that's what he's doing with possession here. So from the point of view of fear, the register of sensation, illness, oh, loneliness, death, poverty, death, illness, death, you know, those right. are registers that make you afraid. Mm -hmm. But that's linked to possession. Because you don't have something, because you're afraid of losing something. Because the anxiety or, of not getting it. Yeah. That's on the what feeling do you think of about suffering. This, then? The entire thing that we should read after. <laughs> In states of need and desire, mm -hmm. whether active or passive, Possession is present in an active way. So if I need you to pay attention to me, or I desire you, I want you, that's sort of a passive and active mm -hmm. aspect of um, grasping for what though you know what's that gonna get me do for me give me
in his um, London talk, the famous one, in which he talks about the open hand. Yeah. I love that talk because it gives the it gives a solution to the the, 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 the problem. Because you know? remember that he talks about that you, we can get even into this idea of possessing the the change that we're gonna do about ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, and then it, we become possessive of the idea of you know, and then he said no, it doesn't work. So he says that our work is to open hand. Yeah. yeah. Because we can treat the entire internal work as another object of possession. Mm -hmm. And I have seen myself doing it. And it's worse, worse suffering that, you know, with objects. That well, are that's where we would get, right. Remember, we would get into that with um, cap, captar, cap, captar, capture, or captar people, right? Cap yeah, capturing. Uh, how do you say? Captating. <laughs> we don't have a word yeah, for right. that in English. I know. Captat is to, yeah, to bring them in. So can I read you suffering now? Yes. This has, that's That was possession. Suffering. This has eight points okay. linked to it. A cross references. Suffering A C pain. So we go from possession to suffering that leads us to pain B. Suffering cannot be overcome simply because one makes a different evaluation of the events involved. The problem of suffering can be solved when one's mental attitude is changed. This has nothing to do with the intellectual evaluations one makes of things. This new mental attitude is related to the register of possessive or non-possessive right. activities in go. the world. The open hand again. Yes. There is no forcing and imposing things, no defending things. So this mm -hmm. is what really attracted me mm -hmm. to... Um, this conversation. Right, right, right. Uh, the forcing, imposing, and defending. Yeah, because you're in the... In the grabbing. Yeah. There is no forcing and imposing things, no defending things, in this new mental attitude, because there is no fear and there is no suffering. And he, Silo really had mastered that, you know. It's you totally never felt amazing. enforcing, no. never defending, no. never um, imposing. Incomprehensible. Yeah. Almost. But, um, and I have clear registers of doing all those. Right. So we have to have more clear register of yeah. yeah, you know, that's why I was so. Oh. I had to say that because I was so fascinated that I could have a register of letting go. Yeah, you know, in general, it's an after the, an afterthought, after the fact. Yeah, that was on the instant. Or you would that, feel immediately you'd have to defend yourself. Right, right, right. And I saw it. I said, "I'm hey, gonna defend shit," and, and yeah. oh, I felt liberated, Imme yeah. immensely liberated. Even though it was a second thing that is kind of interesting for for the future. Yeah. Hmm. And then he goes on to say, this attitude will grow and develop only through correct, sustained mm -hmm. internal work. Right. So it means everything. That's where we judge our judgment comes up again. Right. Because he said correct. He said correct. And I've it's never like been correct. correct. Well, we don't know that. <laughs> Wouldn't you be correct all this time and you didn't know? Because somehow you, we got into this idea of what is correct. Yeah, right. What is correct? What is correct? Then this next path really fascinated me because this I felt was the topic that Dario brought in that paper. I think, Kurt, you put it out. Yeah. 
where he was struggling with his the death the death of the ex yeah. right of Laura. I mean Lana. Yeah. Suffering upon the death of another person arises psychologically when one locates the body of that person as an image within one's space of representation. Suffering upon the death of another person arises psychologically when one locates the body of that person as an image within one's space of representation. Therefore, if this image of the dead body did not exist, this kind of suffering would be psychologically impossible. In other cases, suffering through losing another person appears to be linked to the register of one's own dispossession. These two I thought were fascinating. Yeah. Right? Because the first one is, we talked about this, the ceremony is designed to... Deal with this. To separate. help you get the image mm -hmm. out of out your of space of right. representation. Mm -hmm. um, and... I love that comment. I forget who said it now, but yes, yeah, CeeLo has, has left, but that doesn't mean you can't have a relationship right. with him. You just can't have the same relationship that you had before. Or you can't, or when you think of CeeLo, can't see him stretched out dead, you know. Right. You, you have to have that other way. But in other cases, suffering through losing another person appears to be the link to the register of one's own dispossession. What do you think that means? Say it again. In other cases, suffering through losing another person appears to be linked to the register of one's own dispossession. So, is it that you felt you that person belonged to you, and now they're gone, and you've been dispossessed? Mm -hmm. They're no longer your possession. They're no longer for me. Or they're no longer okay. you don't you're own them any longer. Because of the person, because the person no, is gone. No, you're not suffering it's because it's you're just not suffering gonna, because no, you're not going to get. I'm not going to get coffee, man, every morning. <laughs> Or love, or, or love, or what I need, or, oh, you know, or someone to listen to me. Or yeah, and you, who's going to understand to let me? Them go. I think Dario tried to address that about right, letting right. them go, yeah. in that sense. Yeah. I, well, he has this dialogue with a person until yeah. things begin to evolve. Really beautiful. So then we get pointed to death next. This is like a treasure hunt, isn't it? Yes. We should call it the... the uh, like Suffering Round Robin. Oh, like snakes and that, you know, death. Go now to... Shoots and if you arrive here, go to death next. <laughs> Shoots and ladders, is that what that game is? Yeah. <laughs> I love this. Death, we observe that this is a fact. <laughs> which mobilizes strong instinctive registers mm -hmm. these instinctive registers are connected with the activities of the lower levels of consciousness the principal considerations regarding death are related to a the psychological difficulties presented by the problem of representing and registering oneself as dead that is without any registers. C, consciousness, emotional. <laughs> so it's pointing us then. And B, fear of the pain that would arise when one imagines one will continue to have physical registers after death that will correspond to how one's mortal remains or body will be treated. In both of these cases, one assumes that one's registers will not cease with death. 
and this generates a whole system of illusory images which cause pain and suffering. The physical register of the fear of death is produced entirely by the operation of the imagination in a completely hallucinatory elaboration of what will happen upon one's death. Imagining that after one's death one will continue to have registers of activities is a source of suffering. This suffering is related to the register of possession, to the possession of one's self when faced with losing one's body. That's So there's the I there. Completely. The I incarnated in the body. The tension related to possession generates suffering. At times, this kind of suffering also happens when one thinks about complete distension or definitive dispossession, that is, the total loss of all registers of tension and the consequent disintegration of the I. Mm -hmm. This generates a state characterized by the desire to remain. We find that possession is always at the base of the problem of one's death, just as it is when one considers the death of another person. See suffering. Then it points us back. That's the loop. So it pointed us from possession to suffering to death, back to suffering, back to possession, right? It's like a whole, it's like that lower part of the tree. Yes. There. Yeah. The general states. That's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. So, I'm also talking about life. 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 Not just, the, not just some abstract internal state. Because it's uh, the whole right. thing about you know owning, mm. <clears throat> owning other people. She doesn't love me anymore. Right. Saying, remember that one? Yeah. She doesn't love me anymore, <laughs> and and uh, you know that uh, it breaks down my existence. It breaks it down. It's like, well, then who am I? What have I got left? Nothing, nothing. I have nothing left. Right. Actually, she doesn't love me anymore. Really can be retranslated as I don't love myself. Yeah. <laughs> it sure can really you know, quickly. Yeah. Quickly. Realize that. Yeah, I mean, but that oh, is... we don't realize it and we suffer like pigs. Yeah. Nice, I've known that damage. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, oh, if you s making that statement, she doesn't love me anymore, means you're in a state of possession. Yeah, who still? Absolutely. Right. It has to do with having, with getting. Uh huh. Yeah. Or stop. Having and getting. Well, yeah. so much of that. Yeah. So I much mean, of that. You could almost say whatever is happening to you and it's not going well, just put the word possession out. You can't go yeah. wrong. That's it. I mean, it's going to. I, I have that as a. I, I, I wrote it down because I was very taken by that sentence that Silo said that uh, on the wood of suffering there is possession that prevents the full development the full manifestation of the mind mm -hmm. uh, it, it was a talk I, I'm gonna I'm gonna research for the exact one but that I I, I was really taken by that well now we're going even deeper we'll but go I, back and say it again I cannot remember exactly but I want to look but it's something like the 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 root the root of suffering is in possession that prevents the true or the complete manifestation of the mind. Uh -huh. 
something of that kind. But it's uh, the idea of possession that we discussed. And the, you know, the other thing that I love is that thing of the open hand, not, not necessarily because it's a good analogy that it is, but it's because something that we can do. Yeah. Yeah, so it becomes becomes a a real cor correct action, you know. Well, speaking it of ends, yeah. it ends outside of me. Yeah. Right. I talked about this before, but mm -hmm. um I can't hand you the camera. Oh because give it, uh, to, give it to I can't I, maybe yeah. I can give it can, to Ken. Ken can, can handle yeah. It. Because it's attached to that line. So, hold it up higher so that you're not shooting up into me. Thank you. Oh my God, you're going to wear my. Yeah, it's not going to look good. You have to, <laughs> you have to possess that image. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to show I'm his. I'm sorry, head. I'm sorry. No, the the, the right. hair up his nostrils. Right, yeah. It's a black ones. Ah. Okay, in the same talk. Negro yes. talks about um, how to fix, how to be in the world in a way that's not, in a way that's coherent. Right. Okay, and so it has to do, it has to do with the, um, he said instead of, uh, thinking about other things when you're in a situation of and a social situation where you know the the first thing that happens is you forget yourself right he says why why don't you spend your time lowering your tensions instead mm -hmm. of worrying about anything else just pay mm -hmm. attention to the energy that's Pay attention to the energy that's generated by being in a social situation. Ah, I like this. Mm -hmm. this. We're in a social situation. Right. Pay attention to that energy and lower the tension of it. Mm -hmm. Lower the... In other words, that's like a solution. That's like mm -hmm. the opening hand. That's a way of... Correct. Not possessing of, it. It's a very of not possessing it, right. Very practical it's a very Right. It's very practical. It goes... It gives me an out. That's what I love about it. It gives yes. me an out. It gives me a way of being in the world where I have something to do. Mm -hmm. Right? I have something to do and that is just to monitor the energy and calm it down. Right. And you may even get interested in what is going on. Yeah, right. Uh, and <laughs> not try to possess it. There's free energy. Yeah, who knows, right? right? It's, it's, yes, who knows yes. what could happen? No, but it's interesting. Yeah. The mechanism. And and you're not caught in that cycle of forcing, defending, mm -hmm. you know, in the conversation. Imposing. Uh -huh, Imposing. Right, right. Right. The, the, right, Imposing, the typical thing. Defending right. and... Or, what, or the other thing is typical is that is the waiting to say what you want to say. So then yeah. you're not really or listening. Or even else. what? No. Yes. Or you're waiting to see if you're going to even be invited to say what you want to say. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. That's, even that. Right. That's even worse. Well, anyway. That, they're, right. Well, they're just ignoring me. Look at that. Look at <laughs> <Yeah>. this. <laughs> They've not even asked me one thing. I, am I invisible? What the fuck? I might as well this not be has here. To change. Yeah, I am here. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to kick the table or something to get noticed. Right. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's a wonderful talk. Lots of goodie. And those are wonderful stories about possession and suffering too. Really good. You know, I never read really the glossary. The glossary is like Fantastic. a work of art in itself, it's I think. It's incredible because yeah. it's all yeah. very, very clear. And it's very synthetic. Very synthetic. It wraps everything around. But I, I love how you get pointed to uh -huh. the next part <laughs> the, of the puzzle, the you know. Yeah. That, that's what I love about it. And but one thing we didn't read was pain. 
Okay, let me read Pain. Excuse me. We're Pain. There's three entries for Pain. Pain, Pain Characteristic Time Off, and Pain Pathways Off. So the first one, the register of an unpleasant stimulus is generically called pain. It always corresponds to an increase in tension. When the source of this register is a specific physical location in the body, we speak of pain as such. One registers pain through the pathway of sensation. However, when the root of the register of pain is in the mind, and its register arises through the pathways of the imagination and or memory, we call it suffering. Ultimately, oh, the so the sensation is the only one that is physical. Right. No, go that. back anyway, that's yeah. too... Yeah. Okay, I'll read it again. Thanks. One registers pain through the pathway of sensation. Right. And we can look that up to so see that. Yeah. However, when the root of the register of pain is in the mind and its register arises through the pathways of the imagination and or memory we call it suffering in the words of the master okay here we go no wait a second i have to for some reason i'm not it's not focusing Come on, camera. Because there. of the lack of light. Right. It is suffering what impedes the most profound expression of the mind. Nor are the questions or answers around the theme of transcendence and God the ones that solve suffering. That is why we study the three pathways of suffering and the possessive root of suffering because there lies the solution. But the possessive root of suffering is not easy to uproot. We do not try to not possess because we will possessively attempt it. We try to comprehend and generate a new attitude made of internal unity based on the principle. There we go. Principle yeah. of adaptation. It's principle right of action there, yeah. I mean, and reaction. That is a wonderful kind of synthesis of this work, really. Yes, it is. It's really, and that's the message. Yeah. <laughs> it's very beautiful. The Spanish is very poetic, too, very nice. Well, that's it. Well, I, I love the way this starts, because the entry is possession. This is the glossary of self-liberation. Right. And the first thing it says is A, see suffering. 